Casey, good morning, happy Monday. We're doing something a little different today. So it's spring break and the boys are in Arizona for spring training with dad. Parker's at work. This weekend we had Randers over here, so we just hung out with her and went to a buffet. It was a great weekend. But I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try something different. I'm a single woman for two days because the boys are in Arizona, not really. I mean, it's just, it's Parker and I. So. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna start vlogging on Monday and just show you what we get into. I have a lot of stuff that's like up in the air pending. The time change, which occurred yesterday, is not, that was my slipper, by the way, scraping on the floor. I didn't toot. Here is a fun fact about me. I don't know if it's a fun fact. A, I don't like talking about anything that's bowel movement related. Like it makes me morbidly uncomfortable. Right now, I'm about to blush. And B, if I ever do accidentally have a natural body's reaction to passing gas, I laugh. <laughs> See, I'm laughing now, like thinking about it. I can't do it without laughing. I don't know why, maybe I'm a child. Uh, speaking of being a child, the time change was yesterday and I am a petulant toddler who has had poor sleep, who can't adjust to this time change for some very bizarre reason. Because honestly, like the days are longer now, it's sunnier longer. But when the time change happens, right before storms and overcast weather, you don't get the benefits of the longer days. You don't get the sunshine, which I need to exist because apparently I'm a flower. And it's the worst, the absolute worst. And that's kind of where I'm at right now because I'm like, where's the sun? Like y'all promised me longer days. I give up an hour of my life and the days aren't longer and now I'm upset. We're in the laundry room together because I have to show you something that you are going to, I hope, find super adorable. Let's see. Let's see if I have room in my cabinet to prop you up. I love when things work out the way I'm, I'm like imagining. Okay, so you guys know... We went from having four fur babies to just one. Come here. Come here. Come here, little miss. And our little miss turned 15 last week. Say hi to your friends. You wanna show them your cute diaper? So I told you guys that she's been feeling kind of yucky in terms of, I'm pretty sure she has arthritis in her back. Like I am almost convinced, even though we took her to the vet and that wasn't very helpful. So I think if she gets any worse, which she doesn't seem crazy uncomfortable. She just seems like achy when she gets up, but after the first minute or two, she kind of shakes it off. Relatable, right? There is no rest for the wicked. She just shakes it off. So if it gets any worse, then we'll definitely take her in for like some scans or x-rays or whatever. But she's 15, you guys, and she jumps up and down furniture and she yells at us and she's super sassy. She eats all day. So this is just, this is Sophia's world. We're just living in it. But she's 15. So we're having a little bit uh, of incontinence issues when it comes to her bladder. And so if she sleeps, rather, every night she sleeps like at least 12 hours, she loves to sleep as long as we're with her, then she just sleeps through going potty, I guess you can say. And it's not even like she wets the bed because she sleeps with us. It's not even like she wets the bed. It's almost like she leaks. If you've ever had kids before and you try to uh, play with them at the park or like jump on the trampoline or an inflatable, you know that. You know that feeling? I think that's what happens to her. And I think it's because she's like asleep asleep hard that she just has maybe some, some incontinence issues. So I don't know if you guys knew this, but they have girl diapers with ruffles on them. <laughs> and we like them. Do you want to show them your diaper? This one has watermelons. Here's your watermelon diaper. <laughs> You know, the interesting thing is that during the day, like when she's active and like following me around the house, she doesn't have any accidents. And I hate to call them accidents because it's not like she's like, oh, I peed in the house. No, like that's my impression of a dog peeing in the house, by the way. It's like 
if she's asleep for a long time, it just like leaks out of her. And so when she's active, awake and during the house, like around the house, like nothing happens. There's no accidents. There's nothing that she doesn't like stay on the couch or anything. So it's, it's really just at night, but I don't know if you guys are on the same boat where you need to buy your girl dog diapers because they come with ruffles now. <laughs> I have to hang dry these before I show you on our model, but look, it has pandas on it. <laughs> so it goes like that and her little her little tail comes out of here which she, you guys know she doesn't have a tail it's like a little nub so it just sticks out of here and then just the little ruffles are on her back it was so cute i was telling uh mateo i was taking him to school and i'm like oh you know sophia's having some bladder issues whatever and he like he panicked he's like oh, what are you going to do i'm like what do you mean what am i going to do well what are you going to do is that bad are you going to take her to the vet is she sick i'm like no buddy do you remember what happened when the double started having bladder issues and he's like, well, yeah, we should put diapers on him. I'm like, so that's what happens. I'm like, sometimes when you get old, your body stops working the way that you really want it to. And it doesn't mean you're sick. Your body's just tired of being a body and it's taking a break during inconvenient times that you don't want it to take a break, but that's just life. So we're just going to have to get her diapers. And he's like, oh, can I help you? So when he got home from school, we shopped together and found, wait for it. These are cool pandas with cool sunglasses and like a unicorn horn thing. Like, you see that? How cute is that? And it's purple. <laughs> I really like this brand too, because A, not only was it one of the most affordable combos, it was four pack, a four pack of diapers for like $13 versus the ones that I had gotten in the past. It was a three pack for $18, but it did have a little rubber ducks on it. So I might have to get that one because I'm finding myself having to launder these pretty often and I don't want to buy. <coughs> that was weird. I never sneezed that many times, bless me. So I don't want to have to find myself laundering them that often. And I also don't want to buy the disposable ones unless I have to. Like we're going to Cancun. Sorry, I know that offends some of you guys. We're going to Cancun <laughs> in uh, July. And hopefully we can, there's this, there's this girl that Katie, my hairdresser, like highly recommends. Apparently she's like the sweetest ever in the whole entire universe. Like on the level of Mr. Pitt, you know? And so when she watches her, then it would be super practical to use a disposable. That way she doesn't have to do laundry for us, you know? Anyway, so there's that one. And you guys saw her wearing the watermelon one. And this is the one she wore yesterday. So usually, I mean, seven days out of the week, maybe she'll wet two of them. And that's if she has a really long night's sleep. But, so I don't have to do laundry that often, but it's nice to not have to. Look at this one. This is my favorite color combination. Like what? Pears, lemons, and cherries. Pink and turquoise. So cute. But they are diapers. So with a lot of Velcro and stuff. And so I like to hang dry them so that they don't get gross in the dryer. What I wanted to show you guys is they're really easy to shop for based on your dog's like waist because they have double Velcro. So there's the possibility for them to overlap if your dog is bigger but skinny or smaller but chubbier or whatever. You know, like if they have like a Funky Trunks body shape, the Velcro is super, uh, what's the word? Ow, it allows for overlap or underlap if that's a thing. So you see how there's all that extra Velcro? But then when you, unstrap it there's like a ton underneath so it's really cool and adjustable and also you know what I was reading a lot in the reviews is a lot of dog parents that have dogs with incontinence issues they buy those types of diapers and then they get the cheapest like feminine hygiene pads or like um, maxi pads at their local drugstore or Walmarts or whatever. And then they put that inside the diaper, like they stick it inside the diaper and then they just peel that off and they don't have to do laundry as often. I was like, brilliant. Anyway, so I told you guys we're going to 
Cancun in July. This is our very first ever family vacation, ever. So I wish we had done something before Taryn turned 18 and like moved out, you know, like that would have been epic for all, like the entire families to go somewhere. So that didn't happen. You guys, do you know how expensive it is to go on a family vacation? Like I'm not, I'm not being facetious. I'm not being sarcastic. I'm not being dramatic. Like do they even want families to go on vacations? <laughs> and we're going out of the country where it's, a lot more affordable because if we were staying here, like going to Florida or something, holy, oh my God, it's so expensive. So anyway, that's something that's been like hardcore stressing me out because it's a lot of moving parts from dog boarding to the airfare to the hotel, like which hotel, and to be able to find a resort that is entertaining enough for a nine-year-old, a 12-year-old, and a 17-year-old is just, it's crazy. Now, we realize this is not an actual vacation. It's going to be a trip because there's a lot of kids involved. But Parker and I are really looking forward to it. So do you guys see the package behind me? I ordered a travel backpack, packing cubes, crossbody bag, like, so excited about it. So Nordis, this is not sponsored by the way. I just want to unbox with you guys. What, you want to go outside? You want to go outside? You want to go outside? Okay, come on. So it's just been, you know, it, for me, it's been on my to-do list. And there are some things on my to-do list that stay on my to-do list for a very long time. And despite them being very quick to do, I can't muster the encouragement or the discipline to actually tackle them. So booking all of that for Cancun was on my list for months. And I was using the excuse of Parker has waited so long to get Rander's passport that I'm not gonna do anything until a passport in hand. Until there's a passport in hand, I'm not booking anything because if the passport is lost, delayed, or whatever, then nothing can happen. And so now that we have that, there were no excuses. Another item that's on my to-do list that is just super stressing me out, but I always wait till last minute, is setting up an appointment with my accountant. Oh my God. Being self-employed, you guys, zero out of five stars, do not recommend. <laughs> I'm waiting for like Uncle Sam to knock on my door. It's so stressful. Like I do everything the right way. We don't do anything sus. We don't like, we are like straight and narrow. I'm married to a Virgo. You know what I mean? Like there's no way. I'm married to a Virgo that's in law enforcement. Like he is the law. So even if I wanted to do anything sus, he'd be like, whoa, don't. So it's not actually stressful. It's just putting everything together. I just have never developed a great accounting system. And I have a financial planner, you guys know Todd, and he's always like, oh, you got to download this app. And on this app, you got to scan the receipts. And then when you scan the receipts, you got to input the information. I'm like, why am I going to do all that work when I can just print the receipts at the end of the year and then like paper clip them together and then put a post-it note on the top that says the total amount of whatever I spent on editing software or equipment or purchases or the square footage of my house that I used in vlog, you know, like, I don't know. I guess it's, maybe it's like a, a way that your mind thinks it's different. But for him, he's like, dude, you just gotta put everything in an app. That's what these apps are for. It stores your receipts. So if you lose your receipt, I'm like, yeah, but then you gotta take the receipt and still input the receipt when I already know where the receipt is. And at the end, I can just put them all together. It feels like I'm doing double work, but I also think it might be a trauma response because I don't like being told what to do. You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, so the whole Mexico Cancun thing was like driving me crazy, but wasn't driving me crazy was thinking, I'm like, you know what? We are going out of town with two littles. Well, Mateo's not a little anymore. He's 12 and he's a huge help. But for me, he's always going to be one of my littles. So we're going out of town with two littles and a teen. And they're at that age where like, my nine-year-old really still needs me and needs my help. My 12-year-old is super helpful, but he's so eager to help. 
but he's, he's still 12. You know, he's still 12, so I still got to tell him how or when or whatever. And then our 17-year-old is at that age where she's like, I don't want to do anything for anybody. You know, like it's me time all the time for me. And if you ask her for help, she's like, ugh. You know, I get it. It's that it's that phase in life. And so I'm like, when we go out of town, Parker and I, we do carry on luggage. We are super efficient at traveling. We are super efficient at packing. I mean, we are in and out, like on schedule. We know what to do. We know where the Ubers and taxis are. We know how to get to our resort. I mean, we're great at traveling together. I think for us, that was one of the biggest most exciting things when we started dating, we actually traveled pretty early on, fun fact, but I had tickets to a Gwen Stefani concert in Vegas. And I, it was one of those things where I was like, I wanna go. I'm single, but I wanna go. And if I'm dating anybody at the time, then that'll be cool to go. If not, I will go by myself. It's Vegas and it's just like one airplane ride, one up, you know, it's like, it's worth it. I've always wanted to see her and I'm, I'm making it happen. And the show was about a month or two after I met Parker. So that was probably one of his first real like tangible moments where he realized, wow, she really is very impulsive. <laughs> he said yes. So we went to Vegas and we had a great time and he liked the show, so there's that. Anyway, so we learned very early on that we travel really great together, but I am nervous to travel with kids, three kids internationally, so I was like, I need to be hands-free. I need to be hands-free, I need to be able to maximize my packing, whether that is in my suitcase or with packing cubes or in my backpack. I need to be able to reach for a battery pack or an external charger because you know everybody's gonna be on their devices. I need to be able to reach for a hand sanitizer or I don't know, like have a bathing suit pack because when we get there, we don't get to check in for several hours or whatever, you know what I mean? So I wanna show you guys what I got. That's what that big box that's behind us. I don't wanna do it right now though. It's so dark and overcast. So I'm just gonna leave it there until it gets nice and sunny and bright. Hopefully today, maybe not. Oh, you know what else I'm doing today? I have to do a market study interview for a friend of mine. So I told you guys a couple of months ago that I met a group of girlfriends and totally fell in love with them. Well, one of them is doing a market study, market research study on Latinas, like, well, Hispanas. So people like me that speak Spanish and have experience with uh, mammograms or and or breast cancer directly impacting them or in their family. And she's like, can you do me a favor? Do you think this is something you'd wanna do? She's like, the only, the only way you're eligible is if you've actually had a mammogram. And I was like, got you girl. Last, I think it was last year, the year before, I went to my well woman visit, you know, the visit that all of us hate and really don't enjoy and put off till the last second until they send you the reminder text, email, letter in the mail, 17 phone calls. Yeah, I'm getting those calls right now. I just hate it. I mean, it's like so annoying because it's always like, well, something came back a little weird. And then you go back. I'm like, do you guys just want to touch me? Is that what it is? Are you just trying to double dip? Because it always comes back irregular and then when you do the follow up, it's fine. So we are, I don't know, I just, you know, I just, I get started on my little tangent and then I just, I just keep, I keep, I keep going. So we, I, I'm doing that for her in about an hour. It's like a little Zoom interview or whatever. I, I don't know what they're going to ask me. I hope they don't want to look at my boobs because I'm going to be really disappointed. <laughs> So we're doing that today. Oh, look what else I wanted to show you. I did this on my phone case. How cute is this? Okay, so I put a bracelet on my phone case. Do you see that? It's like a little, there's like a little bolt or whatever there and like a little one down here and then I just looped it. And so instead of having a lanyard hanging down here, it's a bracelet on my phone case. And then obviously I had to, this is just like a regular, like the little dangle that you guys have seen on the lanyards. But instead of doing the horseshoe and the 
four leaf clover, whatever. I just did each of the boys uh, initials. And then I did a little resin charm with their team logo logos on either side. I thought that was adorable. But you know, what happened after this is, is not adorable. Okay, and then the pop socket. I just have their team numbers on there and it says, um, number 17 and 27 have my heart. And then look how cute. I put little um, uh, clay slices in the resin of the pop socket. So there's like little hearts, a little flag, a little baseball. And then the bracelet itself has their team colors and numbers. Actually, it goes like that. Their team colors and numbers. And then I just clipped the, the little charm dangle on the hoop up here. So I thought that was cute. And it's actually less noisy than the other lanyard style. Really cute, huh? I'm not sure. I don't think this is anything that I would put on Etsy because everyone's phone case is different. And these are just phone cases that I had at home and I just wanted to zhuzh them up a little bit. Let me show you this one. I was actually really excited when I did it, but I wasn't like blown away excited. I was just excited because it was cute. But when Parker was in my office yesterday, he was helping me fix something. He's like, what is that? And I was like, oh, it's a phone case I made. And he's like, you made that? And I was like, oh sh it's terrible, isn't it? And he's like, no, oh my God. That's incredible, how did you do that? And I was like, oh, it's just, it's like a style of phone case. I think, I'm like, I'm not sure. I think it's Japanese or Korean. It's just, it, it's supposed to be like that, like over the top and almost look like cake. He's like, oh my God, you need to put that in your shop immediately and sell it for like a thousand dollars. I was like, okay, first of all, they do sell them on Etsy and they're like 60 or 70 bucks if you order them. I'm like, but they take like three or four days to dry and everyone's phone is different. So how do you even buy the right phone cases or how do you make them in advance? It's almost like, it's almost like you have to get an order and then buy the phone case. And I don't know how you would have that readily available. Like what if it's not even available on Amazon when you need it? You know what I mean? Anyway, so. I took the phone case, the one I showed you guys off my phone so that I could show you what I'm talking about because it is, it's pretty, it's pretty stinking cute. But his reaction, I mean, you guys, he is not emotive. He is super like controlled, you know, when it comes to feelings and stuff, he's very demure and I understand. I mean, that's, that's one of the reasons why I picked him. He's so He's so calming, you know, and in control, whereas I'm the total opposite. And when I asked him, you know, if he's always been like that, it's funny, like his observation was, no, I just, I have to be this way for my job because otherwise that's how people get hurt. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I mean, if I was in law enforcement, I would really mess, mess up. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at this. Do you see it? I can't tell if you're, in, I hate this viewfinder, you guys. When I tell you it's tiny, it's like the size of two quarters. Look at, how cute is that? I wonder if I can make it brighter. Hold on, let's see. I'm put this light up here. This is my happy light. You guys know what a happy light is? So on days like today where it's there's no sun, you put it on, it makes you happy. It's like, it mimics sunlight. Pretty is that? He's like, you did that? And I was like, yeah. I got a little scared because I thought he was like, wow, that's that's a whole other level of Danny, you know? <laughs> but it was a good, you did that. You like it? It's cute. I actually thought it was gonna be like gross or bulky because I mean, I've seen some of these decadent, these are called decoden cases. I've seen some of these and they have like a Ferris wheel on the back. <laughs> a Tamagotchi sticking out like big, but I tried to do it as decadent as possible, but also not super over the top because usually they have like a full size toy or whatever sticking out, but that's, 
the theme. It's supposed to be over the top, but I wanted the over the top look without so much the over the top feel, but it took forever to dry. I mean, it took, it says three days to dry on the packaging, but it took almost five, five days to dry. It's cute, right? I've been, uh, I've been feeling creative. <laughs> I've had a lot of creative energy that I've needed to put places. And so I thought I would experiment on myself. I thought it was so cute. Look, let me show you this. This is not, uh, I wish there was like a way to melt resin so that I could get my charms back because I'm not super proud of this, but I made this like Pachaco pop socket. Do you guys remember when you said, oh, you should do resin, like um, almost like how you do the dog tags, but do it, turn this off. Yeah, that's better. Um, just like you do the dog tags, but do it for pop sockets. And I was like, yeah, it's gonna be a little bulky. I can try, but I don't think it's gonna be like the best look. So here we go. So I did a little Pachaco pop socket. You could tell it's pretty thick. And the way that I did it was I did the resin piece and then I took the 3M tape that they sell to stick your pop sockets and then combine the two. That way if it gets big, bulky, whatever, you're over it, you have an old pop socket at home you wanna repurpose. I think it like minimizes cost. It also allows you to change your mind. If you don't wanna use it as a pop socket, you can just. Hey. Um, I just want to let you know, um, Daniel, um, his throat is bothering him and he was coughing last night. Um, so he didn't sleep very well. Six hours later. Okay. Have fun. Bye. Go parent. Gosh, you guys, anytime my little man is with dad, he gets sick. I don't know what it is. It's like every single time and has comfortable as I would love to feel and just be like, oh, it's co-parent. I'm like, no, it's not. I think it really just is like a bad stroke of luck. That horsefly has been living in my house for like a week. We are going to have one of the worst bug seasons ever this year. I mean, it's not even April and the outside, when you walk outside, it's like you're in the Amazon. Like that's how many bugs there are not looking forward to it. I know for sure this is the year that I'm gonna get West Nile virus. Have you guys seen my legs during the summer with mosquitoes? Like it's not, it's, I'm not, I know I'm always dramatic. I, this, I always have to say that. I know I'm always dramatic. I'm not being dramatic. They love my blood, okay? <laughs> it's like a feast. So I'm not looking forward to that. Anyway, so I made these, <laughs> not this one. I made these and while I loved the one that I made, I just made this one. This is the first one that I made and I loved it so much that I made three follow-up ones, but I don't know if I'm biased, I don't know what it is, but I just didn't like the other three as much as I like this one. And so you can tell it's pretty thick, it's a chubby layer, so flat, that's how flat it is. And there are a lot of really cool phone grips that are that fat. For example, I have this one. I have this little guy and I love him. He is so cute. He's one of my favorites, but look how big he is. And that's how big he looks on a phone case. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I just put him on here and he's huge. You know what I mean? Like that is a big, that's a big projection. <laughs> what we don't have. <laughs> that is a big projection for a phone grip, but it's cute. So it kind of, the cuteness offsets the size. But, so I really like this one and I put little little pachacos inside. Like I just set them in. And ideally, or rather when I did it, it was almost like a phase, like step by step. I just did a really low minty color and then I set the tiny pachacos in there with the big one in the middle. And I was just gonna leave it like that. Almost like three dimensional instead of just sealing it up like an aquarium. And I just didn't like it because the edges were sharp. And so I was like, okay, well, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna dome it a little bit. And then it just, and then I just kept doming it and then kept doming it. So anyway, I did these other three 
I'm just not crazy about them. Here's the center roll one. It's cute, right? The little center roll, he's blue. And then I did a pump on purin one. But do you see how it's like, in order to make it seamless, you almost have to go like bigger or, or thicker. Well, he's cute. And then we did a Kuromi one. Actually, now that I see it on the viewfinder, it looks pretty cute. So I was like, I don't know. I don't know if I need to get better at doing these or just 86 this idea altogether and do try to do something different. I liked how this one turned out, but I also liked how this one turned out. <laughs> that is so cute. Anyway, that's what we've been up to. What else? I showed you Sophia's diapers. I showed you my phone case. I've got to do my market study. I don't even know what it's called, but it's in Spanish, so I'm a little nervous because I don't know how to say a lot of things in Spanish that are like mammogram related. I mean, how much vernacular is there about mammograms? <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. Okay, so I showed you that. And then I just want to show you my backpack, but it, like I said, it's like, where's the sun? Hello. I think it's a time change. I think it's just one of those days where it's going to be darker in the morning and then lighter later into the night. But I'm a morning person, so I'm like, hello. It's like nine o'clock. I need sunshine, but I think it might, I think it might come out. Although I did ask my artificial intelligence robot, I don't want to say the name because then she's going to, I did ask her what the weather is going to be today and she said thunderstorms. So there's that. Oh, you guys, I feel so off kilter. Like I said at the beginning of the vlog, I'm like, I am a petulant child. If I don't have a routine, if I don't have a schedule, if I don't have like some sense of normalcy, I freak out. Like people like me need routine because if we're left to our own devices, like, nothing good comes of it. <laughs> nothing good comes of it. Like we think eating Doritos for breakfast is a good idea. We think driving two hours away to pick up something is a good idea. Postponing a deadline for something is a good idea. You know, like we're not, we need, we need, we need structure. We need structure. We need routine. And just like this time change, the boys being in Arizona. Now I have to carry the mental load of Daniel might be sick. Parker went to work at 1 a.m. So he's been at work this entire time and he's probably not going to get home until like 4.30. And I'm like, well, it's just the two of us and I haven't made dinner. You see what I mean? Like, I need a routine. Your girl needs routine. And you know what's even worse? He's going to Louisiana this weekend to see his mom. Oh, and he was just gone the week before. I think I'm just salty because I miss him. And I'm also salty because I can't go with him to visit his mom which is lame. I wish I could go with them, but uh, if you guys have a parent with Alzheimer's, you understand probably why. But anyway, it's like a yucky feeling. And it's, for me, it's yucky because I never thought I would be that type of person in a relationship that like always wants to be around their partner. And I do. I was just telling Randon this weekend, I'm like, she was telling us about a boy and, and you know, certain things about her privacy, which I'm not going to share, but she was telling us about a boy and I was telling her, I'm like, you know, what's funny is the things that you and your youth right now find annoying, it's not so much because of you are that way or he is that way. I think at the end of the day, it all boils down to the person that you're with. I'm like, because I remember being your age and being like, I want to be independent. Like, I only have time to see you once a week. Like, I have my own time. I have my own friends. I have things that I want to do. And now as an adult, I want to do nothing with my partner. I want to do errands with my partner. I want to be mad with my partner. You know, like <laughs> anything that I do, I want to do with my teammate, with my partner, with my spouse, with the love of my life. I'm like, And it's such a weird full circle moment when you realize that. I said, so the things that you might find annoying right now, just Put them on the back burner because at the end of the day, they turn into stuff that you find endearing and stuff that you notice when they stop doing it and stuff that 
make you feel seen or important or special or loved. So I'm like, don't, don't eliminate it as an option quite yet. But if you don't feel that way with someone, it's not there. Like that's not, that's not the person. That's not, that's not part of the plan right now, you know? And of course, I mean, she's 17, so it's not like we're trying to marry her off or even trying to get her to get a boyfriend, but she's so emotionally in tune and self-aware that it's refreshing to have these conversations with her and notice that she actually, like, absorbs them, you know, that she validates her own feelings, what's being said to her, and she's actually listening. It's so refreshing. And I love that about her because she's not in that perpetual negative state of mind that I feel like a lot of teenagers are. And not because they're bad, but because they're in that getting to know themselves age. You hear a neighbor dog? All day. All day that dog barks, all day. All day he's outside and all day he barks and no one says anything. And two of our neighbors have newborns. Like, the dog is adorable, but it's infuriating sometimes. <laughs> anyway, I remember being a teenager and I think that the, the, the thing that feels right is to automatically go against whatever an adult is telling you. You know, like they're saying, oh, clean your room because you know, it builds healthy habits. You're like, don't control me. I want to live in my room that's a mess. Like, leave me alone. It's just that automatic teenager thing. But with Randon, it's very, um, she's inquisitive. Like, she knows it comes from a place of there's a reason. And if she ever has any doubts as to what the reason is, she'll ask. I love that about her. So she's very emotionally mature. And when she's not, she'll say, like, I don't know why, but I don't like how I feel or whatever, you know? So anyway, that's super refreshing. But that's, I think that's what, I, that's what I'm feeling with Parker taking these trips. I was like, I'm so mad at you, you know? Like you, you knew you were gonna be out of town for this conference. Like you can go see your mother some other time. And we had already planned everything and it just turned out that it was that close together. So I was like, I'm not asking you to like change your trip. I'm just saying I'm gonna miss you. <laughs> Can I be mad about that? So, it's trash day, huh? Trash day's infuriating, let me tell ya. Trash day's the worst. You gonna get him? Anyway, you guys, I wasted so much of your time already. It's been like an hour. I have to get ready for my market research study. And then if the sun comes out, which it looks like it's trying to, I'll show you guys what's in the box because I haven't been able to open it because I wanna open it with you guys. I think I have developed a toxic parasocial relationship with you guys, like a codependent, <laughs> traumatized, toxic parasocial relationship with you. But if you're okay with it, then I am too. <laughs> we can be codependent together. <laughs> hey you guys, okay, I just finished my Zoom, so it was cool to be able to help her with that, but also to do something where I feel helpful. But anyway, it's not getting any sunnier. Hey, where's your diaper, huh? Where's your diaper? It's not getting any sunnier. I couldn't wait. I wanna open this with you guys. I've been dying to get into it. So I told you that I got these so that I can be hands-free. Oh, fancy. So that I can be hands-free on our trip. The funny thing is that when I get things like this for myself, it's a really great way of noticing as much as I love bright, crazy, super colorful, over the top, neon colors. Like, I also am a huge fan of neutrals. <laughs> so like, everything in here is beige. <laughs> but I know I'm gonna love it. Okay, let's see. This looks like a laundry bag or maybe a cover for the backpack, I think, like a raincoat. Yeah, I think this is, this is a, <laughs> I think this is a raincoat for the back. Let me just, just put it aside. All right, what do we got here? Here, I think, I think this might be a packing cube. Oh, this is so cool. Oh my God, you guys. Okay, so look at, do you see this bag? So, you see the little handle? This like 
All of these like areas of the product are for travel purposes. Like for example, you open this little zip top and then look, so you can hang it. You know, like you put your toiletries or whatever in here. Look at that. All those compartments. And then it has this zipper in the middle. Look at another zipper, more compartments. So cool. I wish you guys could feel it too. It's like puffy. Ooh. Look at this. The beige is really pretty too. It looks like linen. I love linen. It's just so fancy. All right. Look at how beautiful this is. This is the crossbody bag. Oh. Stunning. Hold on, let me put on the um, the strap so I can show you guys. What a stunner. I also love beige or linen because no matter if the hardware is gold or silver, it's always neutral and it's going to go with everything. So look at how beautiful this is. The crossbody bag has a little cell phone pocket. Then it has a back zipper. So that's the part that goes closest to your body. So whatever, like your valuables or whatever you want to keep safe that touches your body. Then look at the inside. What? We have a little, oh wow. It's like to remove your SIM card. It's like maybe if you're like a super villain and you have like a burner phone, you got to switch out the SIM card. It has... How handy is this? So you're never gonna have to look for your keys because they're always going to be right here on this, what is this called? On this thing. <laughs> then look at the, oh, hold on, how can I show you? There we go. A little card area, like for your cards, for your, actually this would be really handy for like your hand sanitizer, whatever you wanna find immediately. Then you have a little elastic loop for a pen. Another zipper. This is a crossbody bag, like a small bag. Let me give you some context. It's a small bag, but everything would fit in here. Oh, it even has a magnetized pocket. Oh my gosh. All right, hold on. That's it. We're wearing it. Cute. Okay, there's that. This is a packing cube that fits in the backpack. Do you see that? And the coolest part, let me show you. So you got your standard packing cube, right? Just a normal, beautiful packing cube. However, you're like, you know what? I need more space. <laughs> Wait for it. Then the packing cube, twice as chubby. Do you see that? Let me zip the top so you can get a... So it went from being like that to being like that. Love. It feels waterproof too. I wanna say it's a waterproof packing cube. Two of those. But this is what I am the most excited about. Look at this beauty. Ah, what? What? Side pocket. What? Another pocket. What? Oh, gosh. So pretty. Oh, and it has these little down the side. Oh, wait for it. Oh, so cool, you guys. Let's see, you can open on either side. Okay, sorry, I was having a moment. We just, I had to have like my personal moment first with my backpack. So do you see the two zippers on the side? One side, bless you. One side has these compartments, right? Like you see the compartments that it has right there. But then on the other side, there's a zipper and you're like, oh, they obviously connect. Oh no, they don't. There's other stuff on the other side. So on here you have for cards, you have for your pen, you can have for your, I, I think I just really like doing this. For your keys, that is so cool. Then it has the uh, stretchable, like stretchable, stretchy, expandable for your water bottle. On the back, it has the, what is that called? Uh, 
so that you can put it through your handle of your suitcase. Then you have within that little pocket, it's not really a pocket, it's just to stick the, the suitcase handle through, there is an actual pocket that goes right next to your back. And then on the top, let me take this off here. We got two zippers, so let's open the back zipper first. Look at that, nice and safe. I'm assuming that would be perfect for like a laptop because it has nice thick padding around it. And then, the actual guts. Look at that. Are you looking at that cable? I bet you can guess what this is for. The packing cubes are the exact size to fit inside the backpack. I mean, I'm never gonna be the girl that can pack in one backpack, but I can do carry-on. I can do a carry-on suitcase, and this would be my fun bag. So this is for your external battery pack, so for like your devices. So you would connect your device, your, your battery pack on here, and then out here, do you see that? That's where your cable would go so that you could still use your phone, your laptop or whatever, and then the battery pack's on the inside so you don't actually have to carry it. It's pretty cool, right? Okay, look at this, a waterproof bag. That could be for like your toiletries or whatever if you really are just packing in a backpack. You guys, I'm so excited. I didn't know I was gonna be this excited over like travel stuff, but I'm thinking, okay, we're gonna go, we're traveling international, we have to go through customs, we're gonna have two kids with us, we need to be able to like drop everything and just hold hands. Like I love that Daniel still likes to hold hands with me. So I know he's gonna be wanting to hold my hand. The straps, look, they're so like patty edges to my crossbody. That's what I was thinking. I'm like, my crossbody can match my backpack, and then my my packing cubes can match my backpack. That matches my crossbody. So like if we're gonna go anywhere while we're on the trip, like I have my purse. This is my fun bag. This is where I'm gonna have like my devices or my snacks or water bottles or if the kids don't wanna carry their stuff and then I gotta carry their stuff, then I carry it there. Look at how cute. Oh my goodness. I, I couldn't decide if I wanted this, like the beige. It looks like linen. I think that's why I picked this one. Look at it. You see what I mean? I couldn't decide between this one and the, uh, the denim one. Yeah, there's one that looks like jeans. It's so cute. I wanted to get that one, but I was like, mm, I don't know. I think, I think I need this one. What do you think? Do you like it? What do you think? Is it pretty? Yeah? I can pack you in my packing cube. You want me in my packing cube? Yeah? Confess, how cute do I look? Confess, look at that crossbody. How cute is that? Oh, do you want me to get my keys out? Boom, it's called a key leash. I love the crossbody. I think I might just start using it now. Look at that. And then the backpack, hopefully I can show you. Yeah, I should have probably zipped it up, huh? There's the backpack. I can't remember the last time that I've been like a backpack person, but I'm starting to think, hey, you know what? When we go to these baseball tournaments, I always bring my wagon and then I have all the stuff in the wagon, but sometimes I don't want to bring the wagon. Maybe I just want a backpack. And I love how much space this one has because I can bring my battery pack, my first aid kit, my water bottle, my snacks or whatever, and then just wear it. Anywhere I need to go, it's on my back. I don't know. I think I'm digging it. I think I'm digging it. What do you guys think? Lots of colors too. I think there's like a gray and a black and a, oh, I love magnets. Sophia's looking at me like, what the heck, man? What the heck? I'm glad I got to open this now. I really was trying to see what was in there. Oh, you know what else I want to see what's in, what's in something? What's in, so you know what I'm saying? I got two, two packages. I got one from Pacifica and I got one from Pixie. I actually got this from uh, Skin Fix. This moisturizer, you guys, if you have dry skin or if your skin likes to like ruin your life in the winter, this is one of the best winter moisturizers in the entire world. In fact, I actually like using this in the summer when I have way too much sun exposure and my skin feels dry and parched, but they just changed the formula. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going, little miss? They just changed the formula and supposedly it's like a million times better. So 
I jumped the gun and opened that one, but let's open this other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you not want me to open my boxes while I'm wearing my crossbody and my backpack? Then this is just, this is not the place for you because we're leaving it on. Yep. We are leaving it on. You gotta get used to it, you know? If you haven't worn a backpack in a long time, you could really, it's just something you gotta get used to again. I was in on Pacifica's PR list and I got an email from them the other day and they're like, hey, we're gonna launch this new stuff. Do you wanna be on our PR for future mailings? I was like, first of all, your body scrubs are amazing. Second of all, I just bought the back knee spray. Love it. So, let's see what is in here. Wow. I can't get in here. Here we go. Oh, I've never tried that. Oh, oh no. They like packed it real good. Are you guys still looking at my backpack? Yeah, I'm ridiculous. What is this? Scalp Love Rosemary Mint Serum. Don't they say that if you put like a whole sprig of rosemary in your shampoo, your hair grows like super thick and super fast? I feel like I can almost smell the rosemary. Maybe it's just because it says rosemary on it. No, you can smell it. That smells good. When do you put this on? Two to four droppers and massage into scalp, shampoo after use, or can be used as an overnight treatment. It helps detox and loosen buildup while soothing and hydrating your scalp. Okay. Wow, I love this. Okay. Then we have, we've seen this before. I think I've shown it to you guys. The Pacifica Baby Glow Booster Serum. When did I see this? How did I get it? Maybe I did get Pacifica PR a little bit ago. We have the Dream Lit Under Eye Brightener, Depuff and Brighten. You know what I tried recently? The Colleen Rothschild Brightening Eye Cream. It's like super viral. Everyone's using it and it looks amazing and everyone loves it. It looks horrendous on me. I'm like, I hope I can return it because it is terrible. I'll show you what I'm talking about in a second. Okay, so this is under eye brightener? What are, we, what are we working with here? That's interesting, I've never seen a product like this. Instantly minimize the appearance of puffiness and fine lines with a temporary lifting effect that incorporates light reflecting miracles to help brighten. Apply to clean skin, spread a thin layer under eye, under eye area and crow's feet. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. All right. We'll do one eye at a time just to see what the hype's about while I'm wearing my backpack. That's gonna be that's gonna be the ridiculous joke in this vlog is while I'm wearing my backpack. Okay, we did one eye and not the other, and we did it on all the crow's feet and my under eye. Let's see. Can we tell? This one has it, this one doesn't. I mean, it didn't do anything about the darkness, but it definitely looks brighter. Wow. It all, like, both sides look like skin, but this one looks less busted, you know? <laughs> and there's like a drying effect. Maybe when it fully dries, it changes. I don't know, I think it did something. I'm sorry I'm this close, you guys, but you know, that's my face. What do we think? I don't know, I need to see in the big mirror. You guys saw me get up with my backpack, didn't you? I know, I know you're looking. Let's do the other eye. I will say this, it is giving a feeling of tightness, if that makes sense. Like my skin feels taut. Not in a bad way or uncomfortable, but like, oh. Like, you know what I mean? That's a, that's the professional sound. Put it under there and all the crow's feet. I have a whole murder under here. All right. I don't know. Let me make this light brighter because I don't think it's, it's really doing it for me. There we go. Okay. We'll try it. I wonder if it's something you just use on its own or it works better under stuff like concealers and things. That is cool. I don't think I've ever seen any type of product like this. 
So that I love. Then we have the Wake Up Beautiful Waterless Cleansing Balm. Ah, less is more with our waterless cleansing balm. Super gentle and perfect for drier skin types. Squeeze a dime size amount into the palm of your hand, apply to skin and massage in circular motion with wet fingers, creating a film. Wipe clean with a soft cloth or rinse with water. Huh, that's cool. It doesn't say anything about removing makeup. So is it just like to cleanse your face or does it actually remove makeup as well? Do you guys have like a secret fascination with specific types of packaging? Like I love when stuff comes in these like aluminum tubes, like the typology stuff. I'm like, I love those tubes. I don't know why they're so satisfying. And then when you have to open them with the little, <laughs> it doesn't have to have a reason why. Like there's no explanation. You just like them, you know? Then we have the Vegan Collagen Fluffy Lash. I wonder if that's the name. Oh. My eyes do look better. Huh, I think I'm gonna go put this in my skincare drawer and just put it on my eyes every morning. Okay, so this is the Feathery Fluttery Lashes Vegan Collagen Fluffy Lash. I wonder if that's the name. Yeah, Vegan Collagen Fluffy Lash in a glass bottle and a vegan brush. What? That's why it feels heavy. You know, I was gonna mention, I wonder why I feel heavy, but I thought I was just, you know, Danny being Danny, noticing really random stuff that like most people don't. And I'm obviously gonna cut my finger off right now because <sighs> improper handling of sharp objects. I'm breaking one of my rules. Okay, a glass bottle. Ooh, I am pretty clumsy. I'm not sure if this is a good idea. Glass ball. I saw, I saw like a sticker or something the other day when I was on Etsy, and it was like, uh, "I'm too clumsy to be around your fragile masculinity." <laughs> I was like, "Does that need to be on a phone grip?" I think it does. So this is a glass bottle and a vegan brush. Ooh, that's nice. That is definitely glass. Look how pretty it is too. So pretty. Pacifica has adorable packaging. I love their body scrubs and that back knee spray I was telling you about. Oh my God, you don't even need to flip it upside down because the way it sprays, you literally just go once and it's a cloud of product that deposits. It's so cool. This looks like a wet mascara, but look at the before and after. Like it's pretty incredible. Although the model already has pretty good looking lashes. This is the vegan collagen complex serum i've actually i want to say i've tried this before i want to say i've tried this one and the baby glow yeah so this one and this one i've tried before these are good products i think they're good i would say if you don't have anything too concerning when it comes to your skin pacifica has very gentle friendly, easy to use products. So those I like. This is the, oh, this is a perfume. Oh, okay, this is a 100% vegan cruelty-free Dream Moon perfume. Pink rose, patchouli, and sandalwood. Oh no, uh-uh. I am, this is not going to smell nice on me. I can tell you that right now. It's not gonna smell nice on me. Oh, but it's so pretty. Oh my God, this reminds me of Tribe. You guys know what Tribe is? Oh, please tell me there is someone out in the world that knows what Tribe is. No? Do you guys remember? Ah, oh, man. Oh. Oh. Why? Holy crap, this smells good. Okay, this does not at all smell like patchouli, rose, or sandalwood. Oh, this smells incredible. Gosh, this smells like something I already own. 
like something really nice and fancy. Oh, that smells delicious. It smells fancy too. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. I see you looking at my backpack. You looking at my backpack? You looking at my crossbody bag? So I thought it was, I thought it smelled like this. It really doesn't. Not at all, even remotely. But it does remind me of, I, I want to say it smells like bac Baccarat. Baccarat. You know that red perfume that everyone loves? It's like on that same vibe. Wow, this smells amazing. Okay, Pacifica. Like, that just goes to show, like, you can't judge it by descriptions. You got to spray it on there and get a good whiff. Wow, that smells amazing. So good. Reusable brow mask. Vacuum seal and lifting effect used with your favorite serum. 100% high grade silicone with storage tin included. Shut up. On clean skin, apply a few drops of your favorite serum to the area to be covered. Be careful to use just a small amount. Gently pull skin flat in desired area and apply mask. Add light pressure with your fingers to press it into place. Remove mask immediately and wash the silicone with light soap and water. For best results, let air dry, print side down, sticky side up. Oh my God, this sounds fascinating. Okay, let me, let me get in here. This sounds so cool. Okay, so if I read it right, it's a tool. It's a beauty tool that you will use on your clean face. Oh my God, look at the tin. How cute is that? Little rainbows. Oh, the mask also has rainbows on it and it has like a storage bin. Okay, so it's a tool. It's a beauty tool that you will wash your face and then you will apply. Okay, so the serum goes on your face then you put in, you put on the mask and then the rainbow goes facing out, right? Okay. Yeah. So you're going to wash your face and you put a couple of drops of your favorite serum and then you put the mask on and look how sticky it is. Oh my goodness. Super sticky. I love the color. Like was this designed intentionally for me? Rainbows, mint, silicone. I love the texture of silicone. <laughs> Put it on, put it on, seal it, leave it on. How long do you leave it on for though? Wait for desired amount of time. I guess however long you want. And then when you take it off, you gently wash it with soap and you put it back in the tin with the rainbow side down and let it dry. You don't dry it because it's sticky. You just let it dry. And you can put the lid on it because it has little breathing holes so it's not gonna be gross. That is really cool. Huh. How about my eyes? How are they looking? Okay. And then we have the last thing, this I'm using tonight for sure. This is the Coconut Milk Detangle Elixir. So I'm assuming this would replace like my Unite um, seven seconds. Send your locks to rehab with this detangling spray that helps minimize comb through breakage. It also gives your hair a major leave on conditioning without weighing it down and a magical bounce. Shake well, spray on clean, wet hair before combing. Do not rinse. Can be used daily. We got to do the scent test. Oh, it smells like summer. I love that. Like summer, coconut summer, you know? Not so much like toasted coconut, but like fresh coconut. I'm so excited. I'm so glad we opened this together, you guys. Are you still looking at my backpack? Okay, last box. This is from Pixie. I don't know. I don't know if Pixie's gonna be able to top anything or any of the excitement we just had with Pacifica, but maybe, but maybe, we don't know. Let's keep our options open. Got the cute packaging. We got the cute lid. What do we have here? Okay, we have the vitamin makeup, wake up mist. Makeup mist, wake up mist. It's an energizing facial water. Then we have a vitamin C sheet mask. Okay, okay. 
Okay, that's a big mask. And then we have the under eye brightener. These under eye brighteners, man, let me tell you. Okay, this is a wake up mist. So shake well, close eyes, mist over face and neck. Before moisturizer as a toner, after makeup as hydration and pre preserve, and any time to cool and refresh. Well, I don't know about you, but right now is any time. So let's get this on my face. Let's see, right now I am not re-energized or refreshed, but I'm about to be. Oh. The smell alone makes you feel like you just got a facial or like you randomly passed by a spa. I would say like went to a spa, but I don't have much experience with that. So I'm just, I just, I passed by a spa and this is what it smells like. <laughs> Oh, that's nice. I'm just gonna leave this anywhere around the house. So when I need to be like re-energized, I'm just gonna be like, mm, 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 mm. Oh, that smells delicious. Oh, I love that. Okay, all right. I wonder what the purpose of this is. You think it's because it's like springs around the corner. Unveil the secret to an effortlessly awakened and vibrant complexion with an invigorating mist, energizing sheet mask, and the ultimate under eye brightener. Ensuring you start your day with confidence and embrace the glow-inspired magic of skincare. Okay, I like that. I've actually tried this under eye brightener and it really doesn't, just doesn't work for me. Let me show you guys. I'll link all of these Pacifica, you're looking at, are you looking at my backpack? I'll link all of these Pacifica and Pixie products down below, but let me show you what I was talking about. Cause I know if I don't show you now, I'm gonna forget. But okay, this product has gone absolutely bananas viral on all socials. It's the Colleen Rothschild Illuminated Tinted Eye Cream. And so when you watch these girls put it on their Instagram or whatever, you see and you're like, wow, that's incredible. It's like eye cream and concealer in one. I don't know if you have to have a particular undertone or skin tone to use it, but on me, it looks ridiculous. Let me prop you guys here. This is what the product looks like. And man, you see these girls like, oh, they're putting it on and oh, it's so awesome. And it's the best. I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand so you can see what it looks like and the texture. The texture is really nice. It's very silky, but also thick. It feels like an eye cream. And just seeing it on the back of my hand, you could see it has a pretty, pretty generous amount of pigment, but it's not so much a pigment that is universally flattering to most people because it's white and pink. I don't know about you, but I don't want my skin to look pasty or pink. I want it to look tan and glowy. Look at this tiny amount I'm grabbing and I'm gonna get real close and creepy to you guys. And it's just, I think it might be one of those products where when you're watching it on video or film or whatever, film, what is this, the 1950s? If you're watching it on video, visually, it's like, oh yeah, look at that, that's amazing. It looks so cool, it makes a big difference. But in person, aside from great natural sunlight, from filters, from production, you can see that it's white and pink and like emphasizes your fine lines. I'm not sure if I'm proving a point here, but like normal skin. And I mean, to me, it looks like you just have a white layer of product, right? I don't know if I'm being harsh or maybe I'm just salty because it doesn't look as good on me like this backpack. <laughs> it doesn't look as good on me as it does on the other like videos that I've seen. But I just, I don't get the hype. I think for me, it's a full, full on miss. Can you see? I'd rather look like this than this. I don't know. What do you guys think? Far away, like I'm like, hey guys, look, I'm doing an Amazon try on. Oh yeah, it looks great. But when you see it, like, 
you can just, I don't know. It doesn't look like skin. It looks like a product. And if I'm going to put on a product that looks like a product, like I'm wearing a product, I want the product to be my skin tone, to be flattering, to be my undertone, not to be a product that maybe isn't checking the box that it's supposed to check. Does that, does that make sense? You know what doesn't make sense? The fact that it's almost noon and I'm walking around my house with a crossbody bag and a backpack that are empty. But when do things ever make sense around here? This is why we're hanging out together. Like if you wanted to know what, oh, here's a better, there we go. Can you see? Oh God, I was feeling so invalidated in the, in the window. Okay, there we go. Normal skin. I don't like how that looks. You might like how it looks. I don't like it. I don't think, I think it's super obvious. Like I have a film of white moisturizer, right? I mean like this, look how bright my face looks. Oh my God, I look awake and perky, right? From far away, look, she's so bright. She's bright eyed and awake. Look at this one. But then when you get up there, that is a white film of not cuteness. Oh, I'm so glad my feelings were validated. Just in the same moment, because your girl had to keep talking to you guys. Anyway, so I'll make sure to link um, the products that I showed you right now from the, I just can't stop looking at it. Oh my God. I gotta go take this off my face, okay? And I should probably take off my empty backpack. And I should probably also eat some lunch. So I'm gonna do that while you guys go do whatever you gotta do, and then we'll regroup later, okay? Deal? I love you. Hey you guys, happy Wednesday. It's about 8.30. We uh, skipped a day here in the vlog. So my boys come back to mama today and then I'll be right in the world. Well, not really because they come back today and then Parker leaves tomorrow. <laughs> Why do they do this to me? You guys, do you remember at the beginning of this vlog that I said I am a petulant child? Like this time change, is really, really messing with my life. And I thought I was being dramatic because I'm always dramatic. But are you guys looking at my heating pad? Do you guys remember last vlog when I did the Sarah McLaughlin PSA about uh, don't, don't waste your youth? Do I need to repeat it? <laughs> so that's because my back hurts. <laughs> That's who I'm having a love affair with, is my warm heating pad. If you don't have a heating pad, you need to get one because they're amazing. Whether you have cramps, muscle pain, lower back pain, epidural pain, I slept with the wrong pillow pain, uh, I played Legos with my kid, t two minutes too long pain. So that's that's what you see back there is my, is my heating pad. Anyway, so I was telling you, I'm like a petulant child, the time changed, I'm so cranky, it's like dark when I wake up, the days are longer, but still, like I'm a morning person, so when I wake up, I want it to be bright and sunny, not to be nighttime for like the next three hours. You know, it's, it's nice to always have something to complain about. That's like nobody's fault, you know, because then you don't, you don't have to be mad at anybody. You don't have to like hold on to those coals. You're just like, you're mad at the time change. So, I was telling Parker, I'm like, I, mean, I think this time change is the worst. It's taking me a while to get used to. I don't remember this adjustment being this bad. And he's like, me too. And I was like, say more. But apparently both of us are really struggling with this time change. And I think what may have helped or hurt is the fact that we didn't have the boys. And so when they're here, I mean, you don't have a choice. You gotta snap into it. You gotta snap into routine. You gotta snap into mom. You gotta snap into dinner. You gotta snap into, but when they're not here, you're like, well, I'll just sleep five more minutes. I just won't make dinner today. Like, you know what I made for dinner today? Prepare to be impressed. So before Daniel left, I made him some sour bread to snack on and he didn't finish it. So it was just sitting in the tub on the counter. And usually I can finish it up during the week. I'll make myself some eggs in the morning or whatever, but I haven't, I've been doing um, overnight, like oatmeal or just put it in the cup with milk and then just chug it later when you're busy, like the next day, just so I don't have an empty stomach. Anyway, so I haven't done eggs, haven't had the toast. And so I was craving hard boiled eggs yesterday. <laughs> 
And so while I was working on your Etsy orders, thankfully I'm all caught up now, you guys. I hate to have that little alert where there's like pending orders. I don't like that feeling. I feel like you guys are just refreshing, 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 waiting for your order to get shipped out. And I don't like that feeling. So I like, I try to do them as quickly as possible. And so I was doing your orders and I was like, oh, I'm really craving some hard boiled eggs. So I took out my little hard boiled egg machine and made them and then forgot that I, that I made them. So they just sat there on the counter. Parker comes home from, from work and I'm like, do you wanna get romantic? I'm gonna make dinner, egg salad sandwiches. And they were amazing. <laughs> but it was lame because it was one of those um, recipes. Oh, hello, breakage. It was one of those recipes where I wanted to put black olives in my egg salad and I was sure I had some in the pantry and I didn't. And I was like, you know what, it needs some crunch. So I'm sure I have like a bell pepper or maybe some celery in the fridge. I didn't. And so it really was just egg salad, but it was phenomenal. I did mayo, dill relish, classic American mustard, just yellow mustard, a little cayenne pepper, and salt and then I toasted the sourdough and it was like an open face sandwich you know so that you can eat more egg and less bread it was an oh besides we didn't have that much bread so, <laughs> so you stir it all up and then you toast the bread and so you put the salad on the warm bread and it was mm. it's just one of those foods that will never look pretty but if you like hard boiled eggs you're gonna like it anyway all of that to say that the time change is the worst. Today is Wednesday, so we totally skipped a day. I get to pick up my boys around 10 because we have optometry appointments. So the three of us are gonna go see the optometrist. Actually, no, I take that back. Two of us are gonna go see the optometrist. Daniel, did you hear, I just ate the O. Oh. Two of us have optometry appointments. Daniel had his appointment a couple of weeks ago but he's coming with us because he's picking up his new glasses, which by the way, he got the same frame. This child has had glasses for three or four years now and every year he gets the same exact frame because it's his look. I'm like, you know what? He likes what he likes. I love that about you. <laughs> so we have to pick up his glasses and I don't know, just hang out. There's some work that I need to do. And because this week is so messy, I mean, they're on spring break but they just got back from Arizona. They went to spring training with dad and they were there during like my days. I hate, I'll never get used to that. If you, if you, if you share your kids with your co-parent, you know the feeling of yuck that that induces. So they were there during my time. And so I told the boys, I'm like, y'all, like you come back today, we have a doctor's appointment uh, this weekend, oh, this weekend is an, is a, is a baseball tournament just for Mateo an hour away. And guess which game slot we got first thing in the morning. So the game's at eight, which means we have to be there at seven, but it's an hour away, which means we have to leave at five 30 or six. And Parker's not going to be here. So I'm like tempted to tell co-parent, like, can we carpool? Can we go together? A, because I hate driving, and B, because I hate, I hate driving. So it's gonna be a busy weekend, but it's just it's just not routine, you know? Like, the time changed, messed up our routine. Kids going out of town, messed up our routine. Parker going out of town last week, messed up our routine. Parker going out of town this weekend, messing up our routine. I'm like, am I the only one that respects the routine? No, I'm the only one that depends on a routine. <laughs> to function, but I was gonna say, I'm like, we gotta wrap up this vlog, and I got two packages in the mail. I have no idea what's in them. I know one's from Glow Recipe. I don't know who the other one is from, but I know it's like us related because it just says Danny on the front. Oh, the other thing is, because I am a child, I asked the boys if they wanted to go watch Kung Fu Panda 4 with me. 
I love the Kung Fu Panda series. I don't know if it's nostalgic because it was Daniel's favorite movie when he was little. I don't know if it's because it's a panda. I don't know if it's because I love watching them animated eat with chopsticks and their animals and they like eat dumplings and stuff and it's like adorable. I don't know what it is or maybe it's just Jack Black because Jack Black, I feel like maybe if I was a boy, like if I, if I was a boy or a, or a boy, I think my personality would be like, like Jack Black or maybe like Will Ferrell or maybe like Jim Carrey. But I, I feel like Jim Carrey has like a really, really secret, scary, dark side to him. And that, that's probably more like, more like me. <laughs> anyway, so I asked him, I was like, do you guys want to go see Kung Fu Panda with me? <laughs> Am I asking my own kids to hang out with me? Of course, both of them said yes. So... I'm actually looking forward to picking them up in like an hour here because their dad texted me and said, hey, listen, you have to promise, you have to promise not to tease Daniel about his face tan. And I was like, <laughs> say more. So apparently he got a really silly face tan while they were at spring training. I'm assuming they sat maybe facing the sun or while they were waiting in line for the players to come to practice or maybe his big baseball sunglasses or maybe from a hat, like he got a line. I don't know, but apparently he has a really funny tan. The other thing is I was like, have you met our child? Because Daniel, I told you guys, he's about to be nine in two weeks, which reminds me I have to plan his party all by myself. So I have to plan his party. He's going to be nine, but he's my nine-year-old going on like 55 who's recently found therapy and has the emotional ability to, who has the ability to properly articulate his emotional well-being. You know what I mean? Like he's he's my eight-year-old going on 50 that's extremely emotionally healthy. <laughs> so he comes downstairs, we have the weather change. Like it's sometimes warm, sometimes it's cold. Like we're like lettuces right now in Dallas. Like, is it gonna be cold or is it gonna be hot? Yes, is the answer. And so he'll come downstairs in his shorts. And I mean, he has, I would say uh, physical attributes. Daniel probably has more qualities of me than dad versus Mateo who looks like a miniature version of his dad. And so he'll come downstairs with those beautiful long tan giraffe legs that are just a little ashy cause he's a boy and he doesn't worry about lotion even though I wish he would. Anyway, so he'll come downstairs and I'm like, oh my goodness, look at those legs. And I'm being an asshole, you know, like I'm being a jerk. I'm making fun of my baby, but he's like, what legs? And he like, sticks them out like <laughs> you know how giraffes take that long step and like their leg comes out very dramatically he's like what legs these legs and so he's just he's a hoot anyway i don't know why i shared that side anecdote with you guys but what i do know is i'm gonna put you maybe here where can i put you <laughs> i really love putting you like right up in my face huh all right i'm gonna prop you there and then we're gonna get into the two packages and then I don't know if I should just end the vlog here or bring you along today to our optometry appointments and uh, to hang out with the kids or maybe so you can see Daniel's apparently super cool tan so let's open this one I actually took the wrapper off of it I haven't opened it but it had like a wrapper on the outside because it's covered in stickers but it's from glow recipe and oh this is cool so it's their brightening serum but now it has glow drops in it that is so cool so you guys are familiar with that cute little bottle it's one of their best-selling products so the best-selling products it's a serum it's like a brightening serum that you can use every day that's a standard one it's like a pink like a really cute pink bottle it's like watermelon flavor and now they have the tinted version that has like this beautiful glow to it that's cool you know what I love about products like these is because they are very good clean skincare it's one of those things where like oh you accidentally took too much like put it on your shoulders put it on your arms on the backs of your hands and it just like doesn't go to waste and it's great like great ingredients for your skin look at the models how pretty. Love 
that. Okay, can't wait to try that. I don't know what's in this mystery box because it doesn't, it doesn't say anything. It just says it's from a shipping department and then it was addressed to Danny. So it could be a finger, you don't know. So we are about to find out. Oh, this is exciting. Oh. A Manny Love Story. So it's from Olive in June. I didn't know I was on their PR list. Oh, this is very exciting. You know what? I actually got an email uh, about two weeks ago and they were like, oh my God, Danny, we're going to be in Dallas with Colleen Hoover, you know, the author of those really popular books. We're going to be in town with Colleen Hoover. Can you come? And it was like a two days notice. I was like, no, I wish. I'm like, you got to give a girl warning. You got to give her time to prepare with kids, to prepare with schedules, to prepare her routine. <laughs> So I'm assuming this is what the event was for, like a collab with the author Colleen Hoover and Olive in June. All right. Oh, wow. Look at that. It ends with a four limited edition collect. Okay, hold on, what does it say? A four limited edition Manny set. Why did I say a four? <laughs> You're saying the same thing I'm saying, right? Four limited edition Manny sets. Inspired by some of Colleen's most loved novels, collect them all. Okay, so this is the novel, right? And I guess four of her books were turned into like Manny inspirations. I love the branding. With um, Olive and June, I love the branding because it's always very simple. It's the same packaging all the time. The only difference is like the sticker they put on it and it's so clean and still on brand, but also very collab, you know what I mean? So here are two colors. We have like a frosted white and then a pale pistachio. That's really pretty. But look what I'm talking about, the, the branding. Isn't that cute? So like the packaging itself is, is always the same, which I love because look, if you like nail polish, you have a special place for your nail polish. And you're probably going to divide them either by color or by brand. And if you are going to group them by brand, you want all the packaging to be the same. Am I right or am I right? So when brands do collabs and they're still the same bottle, love that. Here are the two press on nails. So you have like a beautiful floral design and then that like pearly whitish silver color. Cute. I wonder if they're reusable or they're disposable. You know how some press on nails are disposable and then some are reusable? I want to say they're disposable, but I could be wrong. Okay, what's in here? Because it looks like a book, doesn't it? Like a little, a little book. Ooh, okay. Here we go. So we have the nail polish remover pot. This is the one where you stick your finger in and kind of swoosh it around the sponges and it removes all the nail polish. Then we have the famous top coat. Ooh, should I even open it? Uh, look how pretty. See, same, same bottle. Same exact bottle, same shape, same size of the top coat. I actually haven't tried their base coat or their top coat. You get a beautiful bookmark. Wow, this is stunning. Okay, so there's one side of the bookmark. You get beautiful little tassels on the bottom and then the back. It's like two-sided. So pretty. It starts with beautiful nails. <laughs> I love when brands are punny. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> oh my goodness. So it looks like it's gonna storm outside. It was sunny for like a second. And then it's black out again. <sighs> My little heart can't take the spring, you know, like the Dallas spring. I still think I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm gonna eventually get used to it after 12 or 13 years of being here, but. Alas, it's probably not in my cards. Anyway, that is it for this vlog. I think we're just gonna keep it short because I'm pretty sure this vlog's already an hour of nothing. I really love that you guys like hanging out with me. It makes your girl feel real special. But I gotta get, I gotta get ready. I gotta head out the door. I gotta go to the post office to leave your orders. I have to go to the UPS store. Got a bunch of errands to run. I gotta probably get new glasses because 
All right, Sarah McLaughlin, ASPCA, like PSA time. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean. You have some glasses. Hey, those glasses don't feel as crispy anymore because you're not young. So you gotta go back to the doctor because probably something's changing here. It's another thing you get to look forward to. Anyway, that is it for this vlog. Anything that I shared, anything that I showed you guys, I will make sure to list and link in the description box of this video. Loved hanging out with you. You know what you need to see though? Mama, come here. Mama, Mama, I want me Vita. I forgot to show you her little diaper butt. Mama, Mama, see. Mama, 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 I love your diaper. That's a nice. You like your diaper? Yeah. You look so pretty. You do. Do you want to say bye to your friends? Huh? Do you want to say bye to your friends in your cute little diaper? Say bye, friends. I hope you like my diaper. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for hanging out with my mama. Yeah. Was she by your friends? All right, you guys, that is it for this vlog. Thank you so much for taking the time to hang out with me and Miss Sophia in her ruffle diaper. Anywhere we went, anything we did, anything I showed you, I'll make sure. <laughs> I'll make sure to link in the description box of this video. And I think that's it. If you found this video useful, entertaining, or learned something, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, she is running away. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye, guys.